quick slurp of tea there before we start. Hello, Aaron. Hello, Catherine. Hello, hello. I've seen your work in numerous exhibitions before, and it's got a very distinctive style, um, and it always seems to provoke some kind of response. Well, my work is about poverty. I started off looking at work uh, with women and children. Most of my work are on social um, deprivation. Like I go for homeless men, women, showing people how, how life is really. People do photographs, I do stitching. That's how I show my work. So some of your earlier pieces have garments in them. Um, how do you construct a piece of work like that? I buy the fabric like nearest to what she was wearing, like a blouse, and roughly work out what the size is. And then I cut the shape of the blouse and then try to overlay the face on it exactly as it is and look at the picture and the size. And then you have to stitch every piece so that it doesn't fall off. You can't applique because it's loose, it's large pieces, and pin them all over and then start stitching. So when you put it upright, it doesn't fall off. So when I sew, I have the picture, I see where the lines are going, sort of where the face lines are going. Sometimes a single line, if you don't have the curve there and you miss the curve, the whole picture face get distorted. So you have to unpick and look at it, pin it up, look, unpick, pin it up and get the image. That, that's how I do. On a portrait, I do a plain stitch, back stitch. That's all I do. But it, it's, it's very fine. I use single thread. So it is, just covers the whole area. But each work has a story behind. Like Madonna and Cha, she, she was a young woman in India. She had two babies. The first one died of TB and she was sitting, standing around with the child and begging. You know, it's so sad to see, you know, children so young begging, you know, and also such a challenge for me to put it in textile. You know, it's easy to draw, but when you put it in textile, without no tools and using thread, as you know, different colored thread to build up the texture. So that's how it is. But the young girl, if you sit, she's sitting there and watching, the only thing in her eye is the eye that sh shines, isn't it? You see through her eye how she's feeling. When I saw the picture, her photograph, and I thought, hmm, that's really good. But the background didn't suit where she was sitting. So I changed the background for it and put her on a pavement where it's tall. So it sort of contrasts the colors and everything else. So uh, there's something nice about that picture. It's really nice. It's just a poor little girl sitting in the roadside. There's no story behind it, just that. And um, her eyes tells the story of what she's like, you know? The other one is I really like is, um, I'm a big girl now. Little girl carrying a purse in her hand. Apparently she used to go to the sweet shop every day with a little purse. And the photographer was sitting there and um, the shopkeeper said, she comes here every morning with a purse, thinking there's money, she wants to buy sweet, but actually she got no money. So she waits there until the shopkeeper gives her some sweet and then she takes it and go away. But it's a ritual she does every day. It's really funny, you know, she got this lovely purse, she stands at the shopkeeper and then waits for the sweet. She's not buying anything. So he gives her a sweet every day when she comes in. That's, that's sweet, that was. That's, that, those two I really like. Last year, yeah. yes. I went to the exhibition for the Society for Embroidered Work. Yeah. And I saw this beautiful piece on the wall. Yeah, it's a piece about dementia. Aunt, my husband's aunt, she died of um, dementia in the end she died. But actually to portray it and to show the expression, you know, I didn't know how to do it. So one day I was flicking to the photographs. I saw this picture and um, he, the photographer, did a series of pictures of his mum deteriorating over the years. And I wrote to him and said, could I do a portrait of your mum? He said, he gave me permission to do it. So I did the piece. And when I finished the piece, I sent it to him, the picture, and he absolutely loved it. That's my favorite piece. I love that piece because it literally shows her expression, you know? Because the way they say, I don't know 
the person in that mirror, who am I, you know? So it's sad. The other piece I liked was, um, it's called Black Tuesdays, about um, the photographer, the American photographer, taking pictures of the depression, the American depression. That's the other picture, it was black and white, which I did, which I really love. And that's other two pictures. I mean, it shows poverty in the raw stage, you know? It was, that was good. So the dementia and that, I like that. So is there a process that you follow when you create your work? Yes. Uh, with the portrait, I take the photograph, posturize it so I can find the light and shade, and then trace the shape, which I would like to put in my piece. And then on that bit, I cut out the light and shade, shapes, applicate them into the piece of work. And then when I finish what, everything, what I want to do, then I start stitching, mainly stitching, looking at the photograph and see how the line goes, the facial lines, the eyes, the colors. That's literally what I do. I was born in Malaysia. My father came from India. My mom is Malaysian, but Malaysian India. So I've never been to India until I was in my 40s so that's how it started then my mom was a teacher she taught Japanese during yes she taught Japanese during the second world war so, so she was very fluent in Japanese but she did a lot of stitching and sewing and she used to teach us so I learned from her I think India is great for color and everything so one of the things I would like to do is to put my work have a book published so must do that thank you very much for your time today Aaron thank you Kathleen it's very nice of you to give me an interview hopefully we meet again soon take care bye <laughs>